Hey guys, it's Peggy Dean of The Pigeon Letters, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to cut a, a design in the uh, Cricut design space versus having to print it first. This is often an issue when you have a solid color paper or a vinyl that you're trying to cut without having to print something. So this could be a paper color that's already solid. Um, or something along those lines and there's an issue when you are trying to cut if you try to go through the whole process and just cut without having to print you might find the prompt that you've already printed and then try to go for it and then the machine will give you an error message letting you know that they were not able to find the cut sensor so it's because you didn't print first and then it'll tell you to use white paper but sometimes you don't want to have to do all that and you just want to cut and their current um, exp explanation on their website doesn't really make that very clear at least from what I was noticing so it's a question that I get sometimes so I wanted to walk you through how to do it so I'm just going to act as if this is a new project um, and then I'm going to upload my image I do have it here already um, but I actually have put it into quadrants so that I have the correct spacing that I want you'll notice that if you have a PNG that you upload and then you space it out on your grid well if it's not, you can't flatten it, which I'll show you in a second, um, in order to cut. So I actually did a quadrant for it. So I'm going to upload that image. And then I'm just going to drag this over. It makes it easier. There we go. OK, so basically I've set this up so it's already four. Um, otherwise, this spacing in here, if I just do a cut only, it puts it way up here. So I'm not able to cut these to where they are. Um, in squares where I can cut them out, if that makes sense. But it's kind of beside the point. We're just going into how to cut. So I won't get too involved in there. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'm just going to click complex. I, I don't usually use either of these. I'm sure that it works just fine on with the high contrast. I just tend to always click complex because I want everything to be awesome. Um, anyway, click continue. And then I am going to use the select and erase tool to get rid of all this white. So if I click the outside, it gets rid of that. And then I do have to go into each of these spaces to get rid of the white in here because I want to have that area be cut as well. So you have to do this on all of them. If you upload a PNG, you're better off because then it will be done for you but I did not do that so I'm just gonna go through here real quick get rid of all these and hope that I didn't miss anything <laughs> all right so I'll just do a once over to make sure just to make sure I don't see any white space okay great so I'm gonna say continue it's going to want me to save this project um, I am not going to do a print then cut. I just want to do a cut image. So I'm going to oops. add that in here. It's like create, repeat, and then lettering. Okay, so I'm going to say save that. And then it's going to give me the option to put that into my mat. So I'm going to do that, insert image, and here it is. So oftentimes you might see a print icon and then you click on it and then all of this is grayed out. I, for some reason, got lucky this round and didn't run into that problem. Um, this was not the case the first time around, but uh, let's say all this is grayed out. You only have the option to print here. The first thing that you can try to do to fix this is to select the layer and then go down here to the bottom right corner where it says flatten. It might already be flattened, so you want to unflatten it. And then it'll give you the option to click this icon and then click cut. And once that's done, it's a cut image. So that's all that you have to do there. And then you will be set to go to cut only. And you just click make it. Make sure that you're inside of those bleed lines so you don't have any issues. Continue. 
And then you'll set your material according to whether you want to use, you know, paper or vinyl or whatnot. But that's it. And that is how you cut without having to print first. So if you guys liked this video, if it was helpful, please, please thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. And I will see you next time.